Hello once again, it's Matthew here from Matthew North Music. Thank you for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you find it interesting. And if you like the sort of videos that I make, please think about subscribing to this channel. And if you enjoy this video, please think about hitting the like button. And also, if you hit the little bell icon, then when I make my next videos, you'll be able to get notified that there's something new up. Anyway, today we are talking about this. Roger Waters amused to death. Now this is my original CD which I got in 1992 and I remember it well because it was released just around the time of my birthday, my birthday being the 6th of September, uh, same day as Roger Waters in fact and I think this came out within that week and this is my original CD and at the time I would have said that this was the best sounding CD that I'd ever heard because the, the sound quality of this album is superb. And I still think it is one of the best made CDs. It, it does sound absolutely brilliant. But then time went on and uh, they then decided to fiddle with it a bit. And then this came out. And this is the CD and DVD audio of the 2015 version of Amused to Death. Now, this album is not an analogue recording and it's not a digital recording, it's a mixture of both. They started on analogue and then moved to digital. And certainly when they made this version, which is a remix with some tweaks, um, in essence, there's more Jeff Beck guitar on here. There's also some sound effects, including a sample from 2001 on here and uh, a few other bits and bobs. And this sounds even better better than this. I think it's a nicer mix. Um, I like the extra guitar work and stuff and I think it's really great. And this version came in this lovely sort of fold out pack and it had two discs in and uh, yeah, it's really great. But there's a new version. Well, I say new, it's kind of a redo of a redo. And it's in this very, very heavy box. And we're going to have a look at this in a minute. But firstly, I'm going to just take you through the various amused to death bits and bobs that I have. This, then, as I showed you, is my original amused to death CD from 1992. It's got a nice little foldy out sheet inside with the, uh, the lyrics on. I think there may be a couple of photos in here, I'm not sure. And uh, other stuff on the other side but in essence it's just a basic CD and that's kind of how how CDs were released at the time. Now also released at the same time was a single and that single was What God Wants which is the lead track from the album and this CD is just like any other CD single it's just got a, a very basic J card in there and the, the CD. And it was also released in this limited edition box. And mine's got quite a low serial number of 1,704. And if we open it up, we've got some art print with the, uh, the photo, main photo from the album cover and another photo, which I think is a still from the video. And you've got the CD and the CD is exactly the same as the other CD single. Now this is our 2015 edition and this is the CD and the Blu-ray and it folds out like this. Now, the original CD was housed in here, but I've actually put it in a separate PVC sleeve because I didn't want it rubbing against the cardboard. I mean, PVC is not ideal, but you know, I keep it in a, in a cold, coldish area, so it's not gonna get damaged. This is our Blu-ray disc, and uh, yeah, it looks like any other disc, really. And I think there's also a little booklet in here. Yeah, we've got a little booklet in here as well which um, if we flick through it, it's just got lots of nice artwork, very well laid out, kind of has the kind of vibe of the original album, but also with the sort of more contemporary graphics that you would have seen in uh, Roger's more recent shows, such as the Us and Them tour, which he was planning at the time of the release of this album. So yeah, that's our, um, that's our Blu-ray and CD package. Again, I can't remember how much that was when it was new, but I think it was about £25, something like that. 
And then, of course, 2015 also brought us some vinyl. The first thing it brought us was this. This is a, a double picture disc. And I can't remember if this folds open. Yeah, it does. It opens up. So there's our two picture discs. I can honestly say I've never played this. I literally bought this and it's literally just stayed on the shelf ever since. You know, it's a collectible. You're not going to play this for its audio quality because it is just a picture disc. But it's a nice thing to have. And I don't think it's in print anymore. I think that is, you know, that was something that came out at the time. I can't remember how much it retailed for, but I think it was somewhere in the region of 30 to 35 pounds. Now, had you bought this at the time, you also had the chance to buy one of these. And this is the What God Wants DVD single. And it is purely just DVD audio. It's, there's no video on this, even though a lot of people thought it was, and they actually sent their discs back because there was no pictures. They did a thousand of these for the UK and you could only get them in HMV and they were, this is number 826. Now there were some higher number versions that were sold in Europe, I do believe, but in the UK it was up to a thousand. And uh, that's the one I bought. And if you bought this with one of the albums, you, it was reduced in price. You could get it for 199, I think, instead of 399. So I bought that with this. But at the same time, I also bought this, and this is where we're getting closer to what we're going to talk about. This is the, the vinyl version that came out at the time, the proper vinyl version, of which there were two. And this is where things get really confusing. They were both made by Analog Productions, and there's the Analog Productions logo there behind the price ticket. Now, if you notice on the price ticket, it says $34.99, and that is how much it was and at the time that seemed very expensive but compared to how things are now it's relatively cheap and anyway there's two versions of this analog productions one there's one that was distributed through sony and then there was the version they did themselves now they all have the same inner sleeves the records look more or less the same they all have this sort of quality vinyl written on them they're, they're big, heavy records. I mean, they're supposed to be 200 grams. I've never weighed it, but it, it, you know they are, they are chunky, chunky discs. And then if we take the, rec the sleeve out of the, the bag that it comes in, the way you can tell whether it's a Sony or whether it's Analog Productions is the easy way is if you just look on the inside of the sleeve, you can see there it's white. That means it's the Sony. If it was the Analog Productions one, it would be um, like a sort of browny card cover and the Analog Productions one also has a very glossy finish and it's thicker card, whereas this is thinner card. So this is the, the Sony version, but they're more or less exactly the same. I mean, there are audio files that will say, oh no, one sounds better than the other, but they were mastered by and cut by Doug Sachs and James Guthrie they're not going to sound any different. I don't care what anybody says. They ain't going to sound any different. They all came from the same digital files, not analog. Even though they advertised it as analog, it's not. It was cut from digital files because that's how the album was made. Anyway, let's get on to the next thing. Inside this box is something that I didn't think I was going to buy. But because I've had such good reaction to some of my recent videos about the Pink Floyd box set and audio file records in general, I thought I'd put my money in my mouth, where my mouth is, and I would see if this lives up to the hype. And inside here is something that I think is the ultimate in a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Remember, this original album of Amused to Death is one CD. This album is about 75 minutes long. It's nicely spread out over two vinyl discs, if you want to listen to it, off an LP. However, I prefer to listen to this off CD because of the fact that it's a nice flowing album and you don't want to be getting up every five minutes to turn the record over. Well, when it comes to turning the record over every five minutes, this is the ultimate experience of that. We're going to open it up and we're going to have a look inside. Now, I actually bought this from uh, a shop in the UK who specialise in uh, 
records and particularly imports um, audio file stuff um, and let's should we say certain specialist titles as well which um, you know you generally used to just see under the counter in uh, in certain record shops but now they seem to be everywhere um, and some shops used to get raided for selling such records but these days no one cares anyway inside this box is if i can get it out here we go is this this is the analog productions roger waters amused to death super duper audio file box set version it has four discs they're 200 grams each it's a, a numbered edition although i can't quite get what that numbering actually means because I can't see that they've actually pressed, you know, 88 million of the things. Um, I don't know how many they've pressed, to be honest. But this is the new Super Duper box that is supposed to be the way to listen to the album. So I think what we'll do is we'll just have a look at the back. There we go. And uh, it says there, premium vinyl pressing. Uh, HQ 180. Well, I thought these were 200 grams, but maybe they're... They're not, they're only 180, which is a bit weird. Anyway, we're gonna take off the, uh, the, the plastic and we'll have a look inside. Very careful not to scratch or damage any of the box. I mean, it does feel like a fairly, fairly substantial box. And uh, yeah, that's our uh, our amused to death box without the wrapping on and uh, it's a very nice sort of solid matte feel to it and let's uh, take it out the sleeve so solid so that's a good solid box that but then for the price it jolly well should be then we get to the inside and this is our first offering and this is the same sleeve design as, as the reissue. And yeah, it's nice, it's much thicker cover, much thicker card. And inside we have our record. And that is definitely not as heavy as that one. So I don't think this is anything like 200 grams. In fact, I think it's a lot less. I might pop these on some scales in a minute and we'll have a look. Um, now the, the sleeve, the inner sleeve's got a few bumps here. I don't quite get why, because it's supposed to be brand new. And that's looking at the record. And uh, yeah, it does look pretty flat, to be fair. Um, yeah, maybe there's a slight, a slight bit of warpage, I'm not sure. We'd have to get it on the deck to find out, but uh, yeah, overall first impressions are good. It's nice that it's got a, a proper polylined inner because I absolutely hate albums that, that don't have polylined inner bags. And there's even a label I saw the other day that were making virtue of the fact that they don't put polythene inners on their records. And I'm thinking, right, well, in that case, I don't really want to buy anything that you've made because polylined inners protect the record so much better than paper because after all, if you've got a, a record with paper in the sleeves then you've got to clean you know you've got to clean the record maybe two or three times before you can play it because it's got bits of paper dust on it right this record here side c and d yeah it's absolutely bob on that one there's nothing wrong with that so uh, that's looking good and if we look at the uh the credits it's uh, listed lists each song and uh yeah they're all uh, all listed as they should be it is weird that it's a double album and you know you've effectively got you know half a cd on it half a single cd but yeah that's that's really nice we've got a little bit of uh, bubble wrap in the middle just to keep everything protected why they didn't just make the box a bit smaller I don't know. And we'll take out the second disc and then we'll look at the, 
look at the inner box. So the inner box is just plain card, nothing fancy. Um, but it's, it's fairly substantial, fairly substantial. Now then, we've got, that's just a bit of a, a bit of leftover debris. And again, we've got a very similar looking insert. Again, it's got all the lyrics on the inner side. There's our, uh, our track listing, which literally just has four songs. So it's four songs on four sides of vinyl. In other words, it's, it's if, I mean, this is basically four 12 inch singles. That's all we've got here. And uh, I'm gonna take the record out. I mean, again, weirdly, this disc feels heavier than the first disc. I'm not quite sure why that is. But uh, yeah, that's in lovely Nick. That's saying that's the last record. What I'm gonna do, and this is very unscientific because they're not accurate, you know, that accurate. I'm gonna pop these on some scales and I'm just gonna weigh what the records actually are. This really then isn't gonna be scientific, but these are just a pair of kitchen scales. And this is one of my original Amused to Death LPs. And if I put that on there, that is, that's saying it's 200 grams. And I'm pretty sure 200 grams was what the album was originally meant to be pressed on. I uh, don't even know if it says on the sleeve or not what it is. Um, no, it doesn't. This is disc two of the original Amused to Death album. And again, that's saying 200 grams. So if that's a control, then that's saying 200 grams which means that if this is lighter or heavier, we know they're lighter or heavier. So this is the last record, which is from the LP. And I'm gonna put that on. That's under, that is, that probably is about 180 actually. So it, it, roughly 180, but not as heavy as the, the original. Now I'm gonna take one, take disc one, which I think felt heavier. And I'm gonna pop that on. And that's, no, that's saying it's about the same. That's saying it's about 180 as well. So I think we can say that these are 180 gram pressings rather than 200. And this is what we get. We've got four albums in two double album sleeves in a box, but that's it. There's no booklet, there's no other artwork, and there's no bonus tracks. There's nothing extra. And this is the killer line. This thing costs 150 pounds for something that you can listen to for 34 pounds 99 as it was then. And the Analog Productions 2 LP version is on the Analog Productions website. So it's their slightly posher version for $60. So even that's cheaper. Now the question is, will this sound better than this or will it sound better than this? Well, I'm going to go and give these a quick spin. I obviously can't play any of this to you because of the fact that there's copyright and etc. But I'm going to listen to some of it now and then I'll tell you what I think. Okay, I'm back and that was quite interesting. Now, what do we conclude from all of this? Well, first thing I played was this, the original album from 2015, the, the new mix. And it sounded good, but there was something not quite that good. I then played the CD, not the high res, just the CD from that. And that sounds so much better. It's got real guts. And it's because when you master records, when you're cutting for vinyl, you can't have lots of heavy bass because you're gonna get the needle jumping out the groove. You can't have too much mid range because you get sibilance and you can't get too much high end. You've gotta keep it flat. Now, if you play that and you turn the treble up on your amp a little bit and maybe wind in tuppence worth of bass, 
it pretty much sounds like that. This, the way these have been cut and manufactured is, this is the same as this, it's just got a different EQ curve. Otherwise they sound very, very similar. And how do we get on with our 45 RPM super duper, have to get up every 10 minutes to turn it over version? Well, a lot of you are gonna not be happy at my conclusion, but my conclusion is very simple. To my ears, these two sound identical. It could be the same record. I could not find any appreciable difference other other than the this one, the 45 RPM one, there was the odd pop and click I could hear, which I couldn't hear on this. Now, whether that's just a bit of dust on the record, I'm not sure. But I did hear a couple of little tiny pops, which I didn't hear on this, on the tracks that I played. But these are pretty much identical. One last thing I played, and I compared one of the songs that I knew wasn't much different, is the original CD, the original 1992 CD. And you know what? That still sounds epic. It does sound fantastic. Is it as good as this, or is this better than this? Well, at the time when this came out, I preferred the sound of this. And I think I do now still, but only because I like the new mix, I like the new bits that Rogers added. But this absolutely stands up as being a beautifully recorded, beautifully mixed and beautifully mastered album. And it is a timeless classic. And if you don't have Amused to Death by Roger Waters, and you could probably pick that up on eBay for three quid, and you don't need any of this to get a great listening experience. So my conclusion then on this this box set. Well, there's been a lot of talk recently about the, the Pink Floyd Dark Side. Oh, hello. Right, okay, this is something I didn't notice. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. This is record two. We look at the top. You can see there's a seam split on the cover there. And there's a seam split on the cover there. I'm really not happy about that at all. In fact, I think I might even send that back because I do, you're not gonna pay 150 pounds for a record where the seam is split on the cover. Let's have a look at the other one. Okay, that's okay. Oh, but geez, look at the bottom. You can see there that that has got two splits on the sleeve. So I am going to contact the people I bought that from and see if there's been any other problems like that. Because, you know, I'm not being very monetary, but that has devalued the record, the fact it's got sleeve splits. But anyway, as for the sound, I would say it's not worth the money. And from a pure production point of view, had it had a book with it, had it had some better artwork or new artwork, because you've got space in the box, it would probably make it worth the money. But I think these records are made for the people that buy them and they are literally people with more money than cents because that's not worth £150. The sound quality is no better than the one that cost me 35 that you can probably find for that sort of money still now. It's still in production. It never sold out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.